give it through Cash App. You can give dollar sign HW Cathedral. Dollar sign HW Cathedral. The H dollar sign the HW Cathedral. The put the word the in front. Amen. Thank you all. Amen. Please remember your consecration offering. Amen. I ask everyone to get amen. Three dollars in their hand for consecration. Amen. Dicky Cruz is holding the consecration pan. That's the lowest three dollars. The lowest three dollars. <laughs> Walker family, 
Mm -hmm. Some lies their mother on yesterday in Marksville, Virginia. Also pray for Bishop Ramos um, and Sister Ramos also. He's dealing with some health issues, so pray for him. Thank God for the praise report and Sister Ebony. Amen. Thank God for the praise report that she's doing well and come along. Amen. Also thank God that you can have to this home. Amen. Brother Elton. Amen. Harvey is home. Is he home yet? He's not, but he's doing. He came through the surgery. Amen. With flying colors. Amen. Amen. So we praise God for that. Amen. What God is doing. Amen. In the life. Amen. Of each one of us. Even in the midst of a pandemic. But I heard Bishop Shaw will say, sometimes you got to give him a pandemic praise. Amen. It becomes contagious. Amen. Come on, sister. Let us all rise. Amen. For all to prayer. Amen. Sister Jamila, I'll put you on the spot. Amen. But I'm asking you to come and do the altar prayer today. After which, I'm going to ask Deacon, Amen. Would you do the scripture for us today? Amen. Please do the scripture. <laughs> Amen. I want to remember but that song I heard. It won't be like this always. God has promised, but I, I don't have the words. I, I know it's in my phone, but he's turning around. Come here, sweetheart. Y'all know it. Come on, y'all. Y'all sing. Come here. Thank you. Y'all, come on. Come on. I want y'all to sing now. Just lift it up for us. Come on. It's turning around.
touch each and every heart today, Lord. Lord God, let us not leave the way that we came in here, dear God. Lord God, you are an awesome God. Lord God, you are worthy of every praise. Lord God, we lift our hands in praise to you, God. Lord God, you said make a joyful noise unto the Lord God, and we want to say thank you for being a God of every God, for being the only God, Lord. Lord God, we want to thank you. And Lord God, I ask right now that as we leave this place today, Lord God, that you will send us grow mercy. Lord God, I ask that as we return to our homes, that they will be as we left it. And Lord God, I ask right now that if there is anything Anything that we have failed to ask of thee, Lord God. Lord God, I ask that you would grant every petition spoken and unspoken this day, Lord God. Lord God, you are an awesome God. And I want to thank you. For me and myself, God, I say thank you. Mm. Lord God, I say thank you. These and all things, Lord God, ha God. Mm. I ask in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Blessed Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name and for his sake, I pray. Do it for me, oh, right now. Come on, everybody, stand to me. Come on, that's it. Come on, we know it.
has been changed, Bishop James Wallet, and all them want to come on that Saturday, the 24th, at 3 p.m. He wants to bring his, all of his churches together. Amen. So, 24th, Bishop James Wallet of Shelby, the great organist. So, he wants to bring all of his churches together for celebration here. And so the church in Reesville, Bishop Galloway wants to come with to him some time back. Reesville, he wants to come. So, amen. Please, we're going to change the time to that Saturday 24th at 3 p.m. 3 p.m. And so that's for Bishop Robinson's team. Amen. We will have that uh, service on that Saturday at 3 p.m. the 24th. So it will not be on the actual birthday, my birthday. I'm going to do it on Saturday. Amen. So y'all pray for me. Amen. They clapping. Amen. Amen. Prophet clapping. Amen. It's a, pro, it's a poor frog that don't praise his own pond. But I done told you, after 50, there will not be any more birthdays. I don't want nobody to mention it because I'll be having 100. Amen. Don't mention my birthday. Amen. Just thank God I'm still here. Hey, oh, it's after 51. It's all over. Well, Elder, I'm going to tell you now. And matter of fact, by way of announcement, if you have any gifts for the preacher, please make sure uh, that you bring your gifts, monetary donations. Amen. Don't, don't, don't bring no, no, I don't want no suits, no ties. Please don't. Uh, and no, no cakes. I, I do bring your monetary gifts to the Lord's house. Amen. Do y'all, do y'all hear that? And I'll be, uh, 40, um, Go ahead and say 24. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm looking good. I'm coming here now. I'm trying to get my hair dyed, but every time I dye it, like the dye runs out on the pillow. And I wanted my mother. But I can tell you what you can get the pastor. You know, my papa there, he used to pencil his. I need a, a pencil for my mustache. So remember that. So you make sure. Don't give me one that's going to run because I don't want to be up here. And then I look like I done sucked on an oil can. Amen. So please make sure. I like still look to look good now. Amen. 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 Bishop Fields, amen, taught us that he dyed that hair. Amen. He kept it dyed. Amen. He did that up until the day he died. Amen. And penciled that, amen, I, that mustache in. So y'all remember, if you can, get me a mustache pencil. I would like that very much for my birthday. Amen. Keep it looking good. Amen. That's right. I'm going to be Pacific. Amen. I'm glad Prophetess is here. Amen. She's here. Amen. And amen. She going to bust. Amen. Amen. I want her to bust the devil now because y'all too quiet now. Amen. Amen. The anointed cherub is here. So at this time, amen, we thank God for her being here and coming all the way from, amen, Raleigh. Durham, Raleigh area, amen, but Raleigh, North Carolina, all the way, but a native of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, amen, amen, you can see her on her Facebook page, amen, she has her, amen, Facebook, amen, and she does several things, amen, prophetic moments, amen, through Facebook, so you can look at her, view her, amen, anytime, amen, go back and play her, amen, and then, amen, Bless her ministry. But she's come today. Amen. This is my first time, amen, having to lay eyes on her. Amen. And was introduced to her by another friend. Amen. Minister, friend, colleague. And it was just a wonderful. Amen. We talked for a minute. Amen. And we had a great fellowship. And so she's come today to bless this house. Amen. In this season, in this pandemic season, but there is the word from the Lord. Amen. One of our deacons, amen. Amen. One of our deacons, amen. She's been falling. She's sitting right in the audience. Amen. She's right over there. Amen. Amen. Don't no cover. Don't be blushing now. Amen. I'm telling you. You don't know who knows who. Amen. 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 
Amen. As long as you're doing the right things on Facebook, amen. Along with getting your face in the right book, amen. It's a blessing. So, amen. We have her. So, amen. She's going to come in her own way. Amen. She's, amen, the founder and establishment of a ministry of prophetic impact. Is that right? Ministries there in Raleigh, North Carolina. And so let us stand as we receive the angel. Amen. Everybody stand to your feet. Amen. As we receive the angel as she comes in our own way. Amen. To bless this house. Amen. At this time, none other than the Pastor C. Haywood. Amen. God bless you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Come on, put your hands together for Jesus. All right, that was good for me. I said, put your hands together for Jesus. All right, that was okay. I said, put your hands together for Jesus. spirit, amen, she welcomed us into the office, and you know, she said, whatever you need, glory to God, amen, so we thank God for the hospitality in this house, you know, it means a lot, amen, when you come to a church and you feel welcome, amen, there's a word from God, I'm getting ready to preach and release into your spirit, but I like to lay the foundation, amen, I love to lay the foundation because we had to learn to appreciate the church, 
We have to learn to appreciate the leaders in the body of Christ. Amen. We have to learn to even appreciate the fact that we can walk in the doors and ain't nobody rolling us in. Woo. I said we can walk in the house of God now. Ain't nobody walk. Hey, they ain't roll us in the day. It's not a funeral. Hallelujah to try to find serpents and scorpions. I said, some of you going to leave the house of God today. 
day revived in your spirit. Hallelujah, because God said this is the season for some of you to be revived. One thing I love about God, he speaks to us all, but he touches us individually. Who am I talking to today? You can receive the word, but it's something special that God has just for each and every one of you in the house on today. Hallelujah, even for our musician. High up my shape. Glory to God. The Lord dropped the word in my spirit when I walked into the sanctuary for you, man of God. So I'm going to deliver it, amen, as the Lord gives it to me, amen. The, the space to deliver the word that he put in my spirit concerning you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The word of the Lord on today is your next is now. Ooh. Your next is now. I want you to look at your neighbor. Look at somebody different this time and just say now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right now. Not tomorrow. Not next week. Not next month. Not even next year. I heard the bishop talk about his birthday. Hallelujah. But it's time for him to celebrate now. Glory to God. Because God done turned some things already. I say he done turned some things already. So it's a time to celebrate now. Sometimes we wait for the date. We wait for our birthday. You know, and our birthday could be coming up. And we tell people, oh, my birthday is in 10 days. My birthday is in 5 days. Matter of fact, my birthday is weekend. And this is what I have planned. But God says we got to get in position to receive from him right now. Hallelujah. I said right now. Glory to God. So you're not next, but the time is now. Oftentimes we say I'm next to do this. I'm next in line. God said I'm next to receive. No, your time is today. Hallelujah. Because you are now in position Look at your neighbor and shout now The Bible says in Ecclesiastes Chapter 3 verse 1 Our glory to God Please stand for the reading of God's word It says to everything There is a season and a time To every purpose under the heaven Verse 2 there's a time to be born There's a time to die There's a time to plant And there's a time to pluck up that which is planted Verse 3 there's a time to kill And there's a time to heal There's a time to break down And there is a time to build up There's a time to weep And there is a time to laugh There's a time to mourn And there is a time to dance I know COVID-19 is real But I want you to look at somebody and say Will you dance and praise God with me today? Come on here, verse 5. There's a time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together. There's a time to embrace and then there's a time to refrain from embracing. Catch that revelation. Because some of y'all need to let some toxic people go. Whoa, whoa. All right, all right, all right. Verse 6. There's a time to get, then there's a time to lose. There's a time to keep and then there's a time to cast away. There's a time to rent and then there's a time to sow. Come on, how many of y'all got seed in the ground? All right, all right now. Hallelujah. There's a time to keep silent, but then there's a time to speak. There's a time to love, and then there is a time to hate. Did you know that? Come on, somebody. Let's keep on reading. Hallelujah. There's a time of war, then there's a time of peace. Hallelujah. There's a time to every season under the heaven, and your time is now. Glory to God. What do you have on the altar before God? Hallelujah. I come as this prophet today to tell you that your time is now. You don't have to wait any longer. You don't got to say God is getting ready to do it. Hallelujah. Because oftentimes we'll say God is getting ready to do this and God is getting ready to do that. I don't know why we say that as prophets. No, God done already did it. Hallelujah. Before the foundation of the world, he just waiting for you to line up.
22 and 23. He gave us love, joy, peace, long suffering. He gave us gentleness, goodness, meekness, faith, temperance, which is patience. The Bible says against such there is no law. So he gave us everything we need to overpower evil, to overpower the enemy. God has given us everything over that. How he gave us healing over sickness. Hallelujah. Those of you that may deal with ailments in your body, those of you that may have disease or sickness in your body, God comes to heal you on today. Because you're going to leave this place cancer free. You're going to leave this place diabetes free. You're going to leave this place, listen, hallelujah, stress free. Because some of y'all came and weighed down with stress. Come on, come on. Woo! Come on. Hallelujah. And God's going to release the stress from you today. The time is now for your deliverance. The time is now for your healing. And a lot of times we just need to make the right decisions to receive the right now miracle. Hallelujah. I said we need to make the right decisions. Sometimes our decisions are off. Sometimes our thinking are off. Who am I talking to? Our thinking is off. Hallelujah. Some preachers say get rid of the stinking thinking. Because the more we have stinking thinking, the whole atmosphere will start stinking. Uh-oh, I'm getting in trouble. You got my back, Bishop? All right, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He says send up a sweet smell of Savior. In other words, when we worship God, it should smell good. It shouldn't be full of our problems. Uh oh. Uh, our worship shouldn't be full. It shouldn't be contaminated. It shouldn't be a mixture in our worship. Who am I talking to on today? Hallelujah. We did, we thinking about it. We gonna sit down during worship. No, you get up when it's time to worship. We think about it. We gonna sit down when it's time to pray. Mother, there's an anointing upon you every time you open your mouth. The atmosphere shifts. Hallelujah. So everything in here got to come alive when you open your mouth. Oh, blessed be. Okay, all right. Woo. See, we got to know when it's our time and it's our season. We got to know when it's our pruning season. We got to know when it's our gleaning season. Uh oh. Because, see, the mothers, glory to God, amen, the younger gleaned on the mothers. We gleaned. Oh, am I in the house today? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, we sat at the mother's feet to learn some things. See, they don't do that in the church no more because everybody want to be high and mighty. Everybody know it all. If Jesus had to teach the disciples how to pray, guess what? Your leader got to teach you how to pray too. Somebody say, I don't need all that. Yes, we do. We need that and more. Come on, somebody. We got to pray that the mothers of the church stay alive. Instead of you going home talking about, I don't like what Sister So-and-So said. Well, maybe what she said was for your benefit. Maybe what she said was some wisdom that you need. Oh, y'all don't want to talk today. Who am I talking to up in here? Hallelujah. Because oftentimes we miss our blessing because we leave the house and we get to talking. And we miss our breakthrough. And our breakthrough, we received it on the altar. But then we left out the house of God. And our mouth was talking stuff that we should not have said. I know I'm in the house today. Hayabashe. Glory to God. But God said now is the time for the shift. Because see this house going to be full in the name of Jesus. Woo! I said the house going to be full in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And y'all going to go out and get the sheep. Instead of waiting for another guest church to come in to fill the house. Uh-oh, I'm getting in trouble today. Come on, somebody. Y'all only have church when a guest church come in? Woo! You only get up because the choir from the guest church sing your favorite song? I hope Sister So-and-So come with the guest church because you know when she get up, she sing real good. But you don't honor the anointing that's in the house. You don't honor the gift that's in the house already. Woo. You don't pray for those that God is using. You say, well, it's my time to be used. And God say, no, it's your time of pruning. It's your time to be circumcised. Woo, God. High up my shade. That's why the bishop said to cut away some stuff. And you got to know when it's your season. And you got to know what God is doing in your season. Everybody's season is different, but it's still your time. 
Glory to God. Somebody shout, my time is still now. Hallelujah. I ain't miss it. I didn't miss my divine appointment with the Holy Ghost. I didn't hire my share. I didn't miss what God had for me. Woo! Hallelujah. He just wants us to get back in alignment. God wants more unity in the body. I ain't even in my notes, but we're going to speak right here. Hallelujah. He wants more unity in the body. He said, who can I get to undergird somebody else? Who can I get to praise for somebody else? When it's prayer time in the church, it's probably about two or three people here. I see in the spirit. It should be more than that. Because the church got to get back to prayer. We got to get back to the power of prayer. Hallelujah. And if I know anything about Kojic, oh, y'all don't want to talk up in here. Hallelujah. If you know anything about Kojic and you know anything about your leader and even the former leaders, they had a prayer line. I ain't getting in too much trouble now. You got to know what you're a part of. You got to know what you joined into. Come on here, because I promise you the Masons know what they're getting into. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I promise you when they take that off, they know what they're getting into. So while we're in the church and we act like we don't know what the program is, we act like we don't know what's going on. We act like, oh, okay, all right. Ooh. How many of my shape? Come on, somebody. I'm all the way out in the deep. Bishop say I might as well stay here and keep on swimming. Who out there with me? Hey, I said, who's out there in the deep with me? Who's ready for change today? Who's ready for true revival in your house? Are you tired of going back home the same way? Hallelujah. Are you tired of your home being around with confusion? And you wonder why Pookie and Ray Ray, Ray, Ray coming in with the drugs and the drug money. I'm getting in trouble on today. And you talking about praying for my grandson. No, you need to kick the devil out of your house. How long we got to keep praying for the devil to come out of somebody when God gave you the power higher my shirt to kick the devil out? Some of us been saved 20 years, 30 years. Uh oh, I'm getting in trouble. Some of you, five years, you might have just came to the Lord. Some of you might have just rededicated your heart back to God, but you got power. Somebody shout, I got power. Luke 10 and 19 decrees and declares it says, Behold, I've given unto you power. He said, Power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. The Bible says, Nothing. Look at somebody say, Nothing. nothing. Shall by any means hurt me, because I got power. If I just came to remind you today that you got power, that's all right. Hallelujah. If I had to come all the way from Raleigh, North Carolina, just to tell you that you ain't next, but you're now. Hallelujah. Your time has now come. If I had to travel an hour and 30 minutes just to prophesy over your life and tell you that the time is now, then so be it. Glory to God. But as the time is now, you got to get up. You got to get up. Woo. You got to get up, church. No longer can we sit down and say, I'm waiting on the Lord. Woo. Can I step down? Woo. No longer, church, can we say, I'm waiting on the Lord. No longer can we hire a shit. We got to stop saying, I'm, I'm waiting on you know how you get that phone call and your girlfriend tell you what's going on with her? And after she tell you the whole story, she tell you, you know what? But I'm just waiting on God to do it. Mm -hmm. Get a lot of them calls, right? Mm -hmm. I'm just waiting on God. Yes. I'm just twiddling my thumbs. And I'm just waiting on God. Yes. What are you doing in your waiting? Are you serving? Because even when we go to a restaurant and the waiter or the waitress come over, they say, can I help you? They give you a menu and they're waiting for you to place your order. And they come back and they serve your table. Have you ever sat down at a restaurant and the waitress come or the waiter come and they'll never come back? That's how we do with God. We put it on the altar we don't never come back. We put it on the altar and we go run our mouth on the phone to tell our girl. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, yeah, we put it on the altar and then late at night while we depressed, we go in the closet and get
get our wine and our booze. Uh-oh, where is my package? Cause I got to cover my face now. Oftentimes we suppress the issue. I'm in the house. We suppress the issue and we don't really trust him. church today. Yeah. Hallelujah. The time is what? Yeah. Woo! Glory to God. The time is what? Yeah. How you my shame? Jesus said the time is now. Yeah. Yeah. How bad do you want it? Yeah. How bad do you want it, woman of God? The Lord ain't connected us just because. Woo! It's a calling on your life and he want to straighten you up in some areas. Yeah, 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 yeah. He going to do it. Glory. I said he going to do it, woman of God. How you my shit? Sometimes we need somebody that carries the true oil and the true anointed to just speak over our lives. Because the prophetic words have already been spoken over you, woman of God. Now it's time for manifestation. Hallelujah. You ain't going to get up no more and say, God, when you going to do it? He's already done it. And it's time for you to start walking in the manifestation of your calling. How you my shit? You got to get on the altar now. You got to lead the prayer now. Oh, yes, God, I hear you. How you my shit? Because what's in you got to now come out of you. Somebody the time is now church those on social media the time is now we can't wait no longer we don't have as much time as we think we do a lot of times we say when I get to church I'm going to do this when I get to church I'm going to do that that's what they say Bishop oh you know what when this get together then I'm going to join that auxiliary again when that get together I'm going to join that group again you know matter of fact God put a conference in my spirit but I don't know how to come to the bishop who am I talking to oh glory to God you don't know how to come to your leader if that's the case then maybe that's not your leader God is looking for true vessels to serve in the house of God he ain't patty caking no more so we patty cake him and praise and worship but God ain't patty caking his church no more he said he's coming back for his church so if he's coming back for a church without spot wrinkle or blemish he's coming back for a people that means he's coming back for us. Yeah. Somebody get that spiritual mirror out and look in it. What, what do you see? Come on, I need everybody to do this for real. Yeah, what? Uh -oh. I ain't say fix your hair, woman of God. She said, I'm going to look in the mirror and fix my hair. See what we do? We're looking in the mirror to check our spirit. Because what he speaks. 
speaks comes to pass. How do you know a true prophet? Because what they say, woman of God, in the back, they come to pass. Now, they prophesied five years ago over your life, and it ain't happened yet. That was a false prophet. So God said, let go of that prophecy and ask God, what's the new word for my life? Because sometimes we're living in a lie. Because they don't prophesy. Uh oh, I'm getting in trouble today. I know what I'm talking about, right? You ever have a guest up oh, on? You ever had somebody come in the church and you like remember what someone so said a couple years ago what God was going to do in the church? It ain't happened yet. Have the church done split? Cause it's like that spirit done came and took some. What you say, Holy Ghost? Done took some people with them in the spirit. That's why you got to be careful. to be careful what you allow in your spirit. And can I just say this in the Holy Ghost? I hear the Lord saying it's okay to ask your leader. Was that a true word? Amen. We don't do that no more. Right. We don't consult with our shepherd no more. We take everything in our spirit now. My God today. We don't ask no more. You know the old church you said, what was that? I don't think that ain't fit right with my spirit. I want in agreement with that now. There was a time when you consulted with your leaders. I'm in the house because I, I feel God. Yeah, right. We got to get back to that place. The Lord said, y'all got to get back to that place. Let the trust be built again. Because God is getting ready to take your man of God to a whole other dimension. In the Holy Ghost. This ain't the last place. Other places, other regions. It's time for you to cover. And I'm talking about really cover. You want, there's going to be times you're going to have to leave here. So you got to be able to have a, a, a group that you can trust. He got to be able to trust y'all to go. Amen. He, Amen. If he can't trust you to go, guess what God going to do? He's going to hold back his assignments. And if God got to hold back his kingdom assignments, then what happens is the church is suffering. Who can he trust in the house? Hmm. Who can he trust in the house? I hear the Lord say it's time to get a fund together. A fund. F-U-N-D. It's time to raise funds. You got to get back to raising funds. That's what I hear, Bishop. It's time to raise some money. Hmm. There should be no lack in the house of God. It's time to raise some funds, saith the Lord. He said everybody in here can raise some funds and bring it back to the house. It's time. What, what, what is going on with the church to where we can't even come up with anything now to say, you know what, the Lord put this in my spirit to help the church. Oh no, we come to the church I need help. Every Sunday, it's me, Lord, standing in the need of prayer. When well, he done put prayer inside of you. Hey. He done put the power inside of you, so the time is now to pick up the power again. Woo. The time is now to pick up the torch again. Woo. Glory to God. It's so much in you, woman of God. It's so much in you that you want to release, but the enemy is suppressing you in this season. He throwing everything at you but the kitchen sink. And that's to suppress the gift and the anointing that rests in you. But I call it forth now in Jesus' mighty name. You shall rise up in this season, woman of God. And the enemy got to back up in Jesus' name. Hi, am I shit. I see you confound. I see you like in a box. I see you like pressed in all higher my shit. Woo. I see you pressed in all the time. And you say, God, when is going to be my release? Your release is now. God will use you because there's a prophetic word. And it's in your spirit. You have a spirit of prophecy that rests upon you. Not to say that you are a prophet. But you have the spirit of prophecy that rests upon you. God shows you things. He gives you dreams. You can't interpret all of them. But you have a leader to go to. And 
And one thing the Lord revealed to me about your bishop, he's very prophetic. He didn't open his mouth and say that. God showed me in prayer. Because anytime I go to a house, I say, Lord, show me the leader. I don't just come to bless the people. I have to come to bless the leader. Because prophets of old, they came to the leaders and gave them instruction what God was saying. Now we fill our churches up when the guest prophet come just to get a prophetic word. See the difference? See the difference? See the difference? We'll gather when another prophet is coming from, I don't know, Mississippi, wherever, Massachusetts. You know, we gather for that. Oh, you heard so-and-so coming? I want to be the first one in there. Not even knowing you got a prophet. Amen. That sees and hears. He just don't say everything he He just don't say everything that he hears and see. Because he say, Lord, I won't have a church if I say everything. Yeah. So he uses wisdom to watch over your souls. So when you see him in a, okay, yeah, I hear you, God. In a moment when you think he's vulnerable and open, he ain't vulnerable and open. He just being nice. <laughs> he just being real nice. Ooh. He said, he said, somebody said it yesterday. Okay. My God. We got to know our leaders. We have to know our shepherds to the point to where we know their spirit. Because guess what? Your life is really in the mouth of the prophet. When you come into a place and you join in membership, now your life is in the mouth of the prophet. But you got the prophet of the street prophesying to you. And he, is, he or she ain't living a hill of beans. Can't even pay their bills, but your bishop pay his. I haven't had one conversation with him. I want to let y'all know right now, I hear God. And when you have a man of integrity, you have someone that walks in integrity, you got to honor that. Y'all need to start bringing people to church with y'all to hear the word of the Lord that's coming from your prophet. God done shifted him. He wants to shift him even to the, even more to the prophetic to release what's in his spirit. The bishop covers, but the prophet prophesies. And you got to know the two. You got to know the difference. And you got to know what office he's walking in. And then you got to know when he's pastoring you. You got to know the difference. So that means we got to spend more time in God's presence. We got to ask God. Now that word, Lord, I heard it, but I, I don't really understand. That whole week, because you got a whole week from Sunday to Sunday. So instead of Monday dismissing the word, no Monday you go on a fast. By Wednesday, he's going to give you the revelation. God going to give it to you. So by the time you come back on Sunday, you got it. And you can come and tell your pastor, I got it now. Because see, pastors, we love when we hear the saints say, I got it. It's like a relief. You're like, thank you, Lord. Somebody caught that, right? Communication. That's what I hear the Lord say. No more, okay, God, I hear you. No more side conversations. But communication. Yeah. Because what that'll do is run the devil out. I said, what that'll do is run the enemy out. My God, my God. And he ain't got no place in the sanctuary. And those that you are praying for, your family members can now come to the house. Woo, God says, I'm lifting that right now. There was a restriction. Oh, yes, God, I hear you. There was a restriction on your family members coming from coming to the house of God. But God said he just lifted that. He just lifted that. Hey, shut up. Woo. I said he just lifted that because you know some people that need to be in the house. Woman of God over there, you know some people that need to be in the house. But now it's time for you to bring them. They're going to come this time. They're going to get what they need from God. And two of them is under their own leadership. Mm -hmm. They're under their own leadership. They can't even grow there. And y'all been talking about it? 
but you got what they need. You won't bring them. They won't come this time. And in your mind you said, okay, I know one, but who's the other one? God gonna reveal it to you. <sighs> he gonna reveal you my shit. He gonna reveal it to you. Can I just say this in the atmosphere? Some of us, our ministry is not always behind the pulpit. A lot of times he calls us as evangelists. The one that gives the word goes out and gives the word, delivers the word, delivers the message, you know, and brings the people to the house of God. So when you know your calling. It's easier to walk in it. When you know what the Father said to do, it's eat higher by shape. Don't let nobody put no other title on you. Because when it's time for you to walk in that pastoral calling, you will. But you got to first lead the people in the evangelist role first. You, you. Step by step by step by step. And sometimes we skipping steps. What's my time? Getting in trouble. <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. Man of God in the back, musician. Hallelujah. I can release this word to you. Hallelujah. God said he's shifting in your family. So when I walked out here and I saw you, amen, I heard family. The Lord said, tell him I'm touching the family. Things are going to begin to line up by this summer of this year. Everything you've been praying, asking God to do, he's going to do it. But he says, come up higher in your obedience to him. Another level of obedience is going to release the miracle you need for the house. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's going to release what you need for the house. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see you rising up being a man of valor. You honor men that are strong in the Lord. And so because of that, God's going to make you a man of valor. It's also the time for you to sit under. I don't know if you have a covering. I don't know. But God says to sit under a leader. Sit under your leader. Sit under. And let them pour into you. Let them mold you and shape you. Because there's some things spiritually that you need that only the Father can give you. Am I speaking correctly? Mm hmm now is the time because God higher by shape. Hallelujah. He don't just want you on the keys. You are a minister of the gospel. Higher by shape. You minister well, but God wants to shift you and put more of his word inside of you. He said, tell my son. He said, tell my son to get back and study in my word. Because even as a young as a young child, you knew the word, you knew so much of the word. Now the word is helping you get out of situations. Woo! But now God say, now is the time to study the word to help others get out of situations. Woo! My God, my God, you got to come up higher now. Somebody look at the man of God. Y'all want y'all to point back and say the time is now. Hallelujah. No longer shall you walk in the house of God and not receive the strength of God. Oh, but the next time you walk in the house of God, you're going to receive the strength of God. Hallelujah. He's going to strengthen you in such a way. Hallelujah. When you leave out and go out the door, man of God, you're not going to feel like don't nobody care. A lot of times we treat our musicians just as that, musicians. But they're the ones who usher in... The presence of the Lord. Woo. So we need to be praying for the musicians throughout the week. Especially when you don't see them. Don't think that it's just because they got another gig. It may be because they're going through something. Woo. I speak restoration over you. I speak restoration, man of God. Restored back to the place it was. So your mind don't have to waver no more. Higher I shake. And even the I into the old shot, who God has called you to be, you will be reminded today who he has called you to be. And you will walk in it. Mm -hmm. You will walk in it. <sighs> you will walk in your assignment, saith the Lord. Oh, yes, God, I hear you. 
What's in you and on you, what God has put in you and put upon you, is for this generation. You're going to bring those, the, the wayward, those who were rejected, those who were thrown to the side of the road, because you know what that means. He's going to use you to bring them to the house of God. And it ain't always going to be on a Sunday morning. It might be a Friday night service. That's when I got my deliverance. That's why I tell people that say, oh, you got to worship on a Saturday. You got to do this. You, gotta, you ain't keeping this. Okay, all right. Well, I got my healing and deliverance bishop on a Friday night. He saved me for real, for real. I purged the whole service. They don't do that no more, mother. When last time you purged? Uh-oh. Take us back down from every lane, Holy Ghost. Let's talk about it. When's the last time you about shape? When's the last time you purged? When's the last time we really cried out to God for real? Instead of just a five minute worship experience. When's the last time we got on our face before the Lord? Some of y'all used to lay prostrate. Gotta get back to that. Clear the whole floor. And just lay out. That's when you saw the hand of God sweep through the family. You was getting phone calls that so and so came out of jail. How y'all got shed? You was getting phone calls that so and so wanted to get Jesus in their heart. Hallelujah. Some of y'all was hearing the good news. You know what I'm talking about, right, Deacon? You was hearing the good news as long as you was on your knees. Speak, Holy Ghost. So God is taking us back to that place. I don't want this new church. This new era that they got, I don't want none of that. All this one, two, three shouting, it's going to be all right. Jump through a hoop and do five cartwheels down the... You keep all that. Give me holiness. Woo! I said, get high up, I shake. Give me holiness. All day long. All night prayer. Calling on Jesus. Who am I talking to? I know I got a church. Hallelujah. Call on how you're my share. I'm talking about calling on Jesus all night long. Woo! I hear Terrian services, Bishop. Hey, shut up. Glory to God. Some of y'all, you said you can work the altar most of the night. Hallelujah. Because you know what it means to call on the name of Jesus. Yeah. We got to get back to that. People would travel for that if they hear you got a terrier service going on. So once you have it, don't think there ain't nobody going to come. Because you're going to get the word out. Yes. Some of y'all going to get the word out. We have an terrier service at my church, but what is that? Just come. Wear some comfortable clothes and just come on out. Once the bishop gets the clearance for it. Amen. I'm just releasing the word of the Lord. I don't know when it's going to happen, but just know that it's going to happen. Hallelujah. And if the leaders are not even here, you be the leader. Because a lot of times we look for those that are in, in command. We look for the, you know, the commander in chief. We always looking for the pastor. I even tell my spiritual daughter, if I ain't in the church, what you supposed to do? We know more than protocol. They don't get up there and act crazy. Still keep everything in order. Do it in decency and in order. Some of you can do more, I hear the Holy Ghost saying. I see the word funds again. The Bible says, bring ye all the tithe into the storehouse. I'm getting in trouble. That there might be meat in my house and prove me now. Here we say the Lord and see if I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that you shall not have room enough to receive. Having a pension in place is good, but you need money right now. Having your social security secure, that's all right. But you need the increase now. Come on here. Woo! God, sweeping through this place right here. It's quiet, but it's all right. Come on here. A lot of times we think we know the way. Jesus say, no, I am the way. 
the truth and the life. He said, no man come to the Father except they come through me. And it's the same today. A lot of times we got the spirit of prophecy. I go to God for myself. I don't need nobody to pray for me. That's the spirit of pride. Sometimes you need a leader in the body of Christ to undergird you while you go to the throne. Because we ain't always strong. Sometimes the devil beating us up so much because we trying to cover everybody else. Hmm. So the time is what? Now. The time is what? Now. The time is what? Now. Come on, church. The time is what? Now. Higher my shade. The time is now. now. Ooh, glory to God. Yeah. Yeah. It's time to rise up. Yeah. It's time to do more. Yeah. Somebody shut up and do more now. A declaration whether you know that, that or not. It's time to do more now. Hallelujah. Another thing I hear the Spirit of the Lord saying that it's good to ask your leader what's needed. How can I help? What can I do? What do you need? Now, if that requires you going into your savings account, got to do it because God will honor your faithfulness. Amen. No, it ain't always about money, but I keep seeing the words F-U-N-D. Fun. Funds. He says you all have the ability to bring it in. So if God is saying that's what's needed, then why it's not coming? The time is the time is now. The time is now. The time is now. God says, the reason why he's speaking this message to you because many of you are going to receive your next miracle, your next breakthrough, your next victory is now. Your obedience is attached to your miracle. A lot of times we'll say, God, I need, I need, I want, I want, I want. And he's saying, but I have need of you. So what are you going to do? The time is now. The Lord also said that you shall triumph over every enemy in this season. Because the time is now. Triumph means a great victory or an achievement. It means that you have won the war. It also means that you have won the fight. Anybody been fighting? Anybody been in warfare? You know you've been in warfare. Anybody ain't got to tell you. You don't even need a prophet to tell you you've been in warfare. You just know it's been a lot of warfare around you, right? Hallelujah. It also means that a victory has been won with a lot of skill or effort. So that means all that you have been doing has been effective, but you haven't seen the fruit of it yet. And the enemy will tell you, you ain't doing nothing. The enemy will tell you, you just beating the air. Woo! But all that praying and fasting and fasting and praying and calling on Jesus, you getting ready to have a triumphant victory. That's a shout right there, church. Hallelujah. That's a good shout right there. And God says, when he blesses you this time, don't forget him. Because a lot of times we pray for a breakthrough, we pray for a miracle, we get it, and we forget God. Amen. He, said, he said, tell my church, don't forget me this time. Uh -huh. mm. Continue to honor him. Yeah. Continue to and continue to testify. We got to get back to testifying again. Yeah. I'm coming to a close right here. Well, we got to get Bishop say he takes, he's been saying it. We got to get back to testifying, church. Hallelujah. Testimony services. Why is it that when we open up the testimony service, only one person in the house got a testimony? The whole church should be standing to their feet. Ooh, the time is... Ooh. He's sounding the trumpet. Sometimes God got to come with a sound word that can hit your spirit. And that they hit your spirit, it's going to now manifest. We got so caught up with the hype. To where when we go home from 
church, the person asked you, what was the message? I don't know. What was the scripture? I don't know. We just had church. Don't know nothing. Don't even have no substance. But substance was given. Whew, shut up. Substance was given over the pulpit. Substance was given in worship. Substance was given through the praise. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Elder, we don't see it yet, but we're going to see it. Because the next time I come back, we're going to shout. Hi, y'all, my shit. It's going to be a dancing in your feet, woman of God. You getting ready to rejoice over some things. Hey. You getting ready to rejoice over some things. Hey. The Lord said for me to tell you, get ready to rejoice. Get ready to praise again. Get ready to shout again. Hi, y'all, my shit. Because you getting ready to triumph over the enemy. He's been fighting your body, but the struggle is over now. That last cough you gave was the last cough. The enemy ain't gonna attack you no more like that. Hey, how you about shit? Cause God has need of your mouth. Woo. He says, I honor your words. He said for me to tell you he honors your words. Mm. Oh, God. Start speaking things into existence for the church. Start speaking things into existence over your leader. Start speaking things into existence for the wayward and the runaways in the neighborhood. Woo. He said, because the moment you bring them up a prayer to him, he going to answer your prayer. Y'all got some power in this house now. But God said, I come to revive the power. To restore the power. He's, oh, y'all don't want to talk over here. He said, I come by my shape to awaken that which is in you. There's an awakening, there's a shaking in the church. And the time is now. God bless each and every one of you. I pray that this word has strengthened and encouraged you. And I pray today, hallelujah, that you can put that spiritual mirror up every now and then. And say, God, search me. Remove it now. Woo! Not until things get better, but right now. Not until I get the phone call from the job, but right now. Not until my son tell me he's going to come back to church, but now. Yes. <laughs>
God just chose you to go through it. Somebody shout, I'm chosen for the warfare. And I'm free now.
hands. I need for y'all to do the counting. Amen there. Amen. Because the minister's getting dressed. Amen. We need tickets to. Amen. Yes. Right in there. Amen. Nobody goes out that door, side door. Amen. Do not bother them. Amen. We're getting ready to go home. Amen. Come on, everybody. Stand to your feet. Amen. God bless. Amen. What is the next Sunday? Sunday. What is Sunday? Third Sunday. Third Sunday. Do we have our institute on third Sunday? I know it's first. So next Sunday, please be here at 11 o'clock. Let's be at 11 o'clock for the institute. Uh, please, let's do that. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Come on, Bishop, and dismiss us from the place. Amen, but not from his presence. Amen. Oh, Heavenly Father. We thank you for everything, God. For all the blessings that you have bestowed upon each one of us. Most of all, God, we thank you for the angel of this house. And we thank you for the angel who raised the pulpit today. Oh, God, watch over us and guide us. Change us that we never go back home today the same way we came. Keep us, oh God, by your Lord. And down to him that is able to keep us and to present us before his throne with joy and dignity. May his love reach him, Lord, now and always. The church say amen. 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 amen.